All right, so you want to click the first link in the description. You're going to find this page right here. Then go to releases, release, click on that. Scroll down a bit. Unlock FPS, you want to download that. You're going to have to allow it on your device. It's fine, it's not dangerous. And then you want to drag it, whatever you want. Desktop, downloads folder. I already have mine, so you want to click on it. As a first time setup, you got to find your game directory. You got to browse for it. All right, so here's my game. Under Epic Games, I got, if you want to go to Genshin Impact Game, it's this one right here. So now this window popped up. This slider is for the frames, the max frame rate in game. I keep mine at 160 normally. Then you also have options. You go there, you can disable VSync by default. You don't want that. So you got power saving. Whenever you tap out, the game will go down to 10 frames to save power. You want to keep that on. As for game process priority, it's pretty important. You want to set that to high. Launch options, you can go full screen and exclusive window mode. That helps with the frames. DLLs, nothing there, none special. All right, you want to X out of it. So you can decide to start the game automatically whenever you click the FPS unlocker. I don't use it though. I just started manually. That's better. All right. It's going to get minimized. All right. So as you can see, top left, it does actually work. I'm getting 160, 159. It's not the most stable, but it gets the job done. If you want to make sure that VSync is off, it's going to still say 60, but that's cap. So as for the settings, I would recommend you lower them a bit if your PC ain't that good. So you can actually run high frames. The game looks really damn good compared to 60, I'll tell you that. It's one of the reasons why I still play the game. The frames are so good. And if you're wondering, you're not gonna get banned. It's, it's very unlikely. I've been using it for a good Two years now, it's, it's fine. There's no problem. All right, I just closed the game. So the link for my optimization pack can also be found in the description down below. I also put together a couple couple files to optimize your PC for Genshin 2. It works for everything. You just gotta have an NVIDIA GPU. So for the first week, you gotta run this guy as admin. Bop. You wanna scroll a bit to the right. Open it up. You want to find your GPU, go to right, and make sure it's set to high. It's going to be undefined by default, but you want to set it to high. And then apply. Click apply, then X out of it. Second one, Nvidia Inspector. So what this is, is basically a more detailed control panel. Compared to this, you still got all these settings, but much more detailed. Much, much more options. So what you want to do is just pop in this profile, base profile.nip. You want to just pop it in here. Successfully imported, click OK, and then apply. These are the best NVIDIA settings you can have, pretty much. Then you can X out of it. And you also got cleanup. This cleanup, you should do it once in a while, especially after updates. Prefetch files, you want to delete all those. Then files, delete these two. Another temp folder, delete those. For the last thing, this is for installing your NVIDIA driver. If you're tired of GeForce experience with all the blotware and stuff, this is definitely the better alternative. How this works is basically it detects your GPU and you want to select the first option, but you can also select whatever driver you want from the list here. They're all supported. So any of them, any of them should work. You should install best driver, click next. And here, if you got if you got HDMI audio, then you want to you want to check that. If you actually have audio sent over HDMI or DisplayPort, you want to still have this installed, right? But all you need is a display driver. So you want to go next. It's gonna fetch it for you. In the meantime, you want to go to Programs, Apps, Install the Apps. And here, you want to search in Video. And you basically just want to have the graphics driver. I also got Nvidia Audio. So basically just these two. If you don't use audio, you can you don't need that either. If you have any more NVIDIA things with driver in their name, 
they're pretty much pointless. So you want to uninstall them. This is them downloading, so you want to click the first one, second one. So it's going to be installed automatically for you. No hustle, nothing. I already got my driver, so if y'all click next, you're going to have to wait a little bit for the driver to finish installing, and then you're good. All right, that's basically it. If y'all enjoyed the video, drop a like, sub, all that. 